everybody on YouTube, this is my latest diecast review, it has been a little while in coming. Uh, a guy requested this to me, I will put his name up in the description obviously, give him a shout out. A guy requested this to me uh, a little while ago, I've been meaning to do it for a couple of days now, I've just not had the time at all, honest, um, to do it. Now I finally got round to doing it. You can see who I focused on on my NASCAR heat game, I'll give you a clue as to who it is, or whose car it is I'm reviewing anyway. Guys, request it. It's one of the first 2009 COTs I got actually. You can see it there. Focused on the 24 car, and that will be the subject of today's review. There it is. Just get it focused. Jeff Gordon's 2009 24 Firestorm Chevy Hendrick Motorsports, obviously. Now, I've got to start straight off, right off the bat. I respect Jeff Gordon. He's not one of my favourite drivers, but I don't hate him at all. He's a very good driver, obviously. He's won how many titles is it? Quite a few. Um, and he, I have to say, this is one of my favourite cars of his. This is, I think, this is one of, in my opinion, this is one of the best liveries he's ever had on a car. I mean, he, he used for years and years. He had that rainbow one. Then he changed to the kind of more flame orientated one, which is kind of red and blue. And now we have this one, which I think is an absolute beauty. It really looks nice. The Firestorm paint scheme, as I mentioned. it was just, I think it's new this year. I don't remember it last year. I remember it being more bluey at the back. And as you see, it continues the tradition of his cars, where it's two separate uh, main colours, which is the kind of red on the front and a separate colour on the back. And as you see here, it's more kind of... I think it's kind of a dark green or black almost on the back. So let's take a look at it. Here you see the front with the kind of the beautiful kind of yellow and orangey fading into the red like a proper flame livery and I think that's done really nicely the kind of grad gradual fade from yellow through orange and then into this kind of dark red of course the DuPont logo across the hood uh, this car doesn't suffer too much thankfully from the Action Kid series misprinting logo syndrome so as you can see the front grills are all lined up as well as the Impala SS badge, the lights and the Chevy emblem. They're all nicely lined up. The side of the car, this is one of my favourite views of it to be honest. And you see all the traditional logos as you get. A clever little Pepsi logo right there. Looks very nice with the modern kind of font on it. It's the more modern Pepsi logo. Of course the 24, the iconic 24 number you'd have to say. DuPont again and the National Guard logo on the back. Snuck on there. And on the back it's www.pa24.com with the flame stretching around the back, it's almost this rear section is almost like a continuation of the front bit, with the flames there. And there's a Dupont logo on the deck lid, and more tiny little Dupont logos on the spoilers. Um, as a paint scheme, it is absolutely gorgeous, and I think regardless if you like him or not, everyone should have this diecast in their 2009 collection. It's very common, as far as I know, so it's not like a rare one like Ryan Newman's uh, 39 car or something like that. But it is a really attractive looking car, and it's, it's one of those ones that it's really it's really good to watch it race, you know, because it, it really is eye catching and quite stunning. But um, the sad thing is for me, I pounced on it straight away when the Kid Series one came out. But I have to say, I've been spoiled recently. I've been getting a bunch of hood opening Elite Series cars, though they are a little bit extra in terms of money. They are worth it, and this one is available as a hood opening car as well. This paint scheme, if you can get it as a hood opening one, I absolutely 100% recommend you do that because the detail level is so much higher, it feels much better I mean, here's a brief comparison there's my 2008 special livery Pepsi Jeff Gordon car I have straight away you can see from a distance the extra detail on the tyres and then if I do it, that's a little bit better there's a bit more of a contrast as you see there on the wheels instantly straight away you can see they're a bit more detailed and there's no, you see there the sil the obvious kind of silver axle thing sticking through. Tiny little details. The grills are painted a little bit more detailed. Uh, there are so many tiny details. Obviously the engine opens. Hang on. This thing will stay. Come on. There you go, you get the hood opening and the extra engine compartment in there. And proper window netting and there's a key bit. I think I pointed that out in the review of this Pepsi car. The rear spoiler on there, it's just one moulded bit. And there, it's proper raise up, it's a little more accurate. Plus there's a proper almost kind of carbon fibre texture to the rear spoiler. 
So, I'm not criticising this car in any way. I mean, as a paint scheme, it is really, really nice. Very attractive. Like I say, I think, regardless if you are a massive Jeff Gordon fan or not, I mean, he seems like a likeable guy. He's not one of my favourite drivers, but that doesn't mean I hate him either. He strikes me as a very good driver. Basically, I reckon you should have that one in your 2009 diecast collection. But if you can, find the hood opening series one. I mean, that's applicable for any car that they do as a hood opening car. Find that one if you can, because it, though they do cost a couple of extra dollars, it is absolutely worth it. I mean, you can't compare. But as a paint scheme, obviously, I re I, like I say, I really do like this Firestorm car. One of my personal favourites of the year. And... Um, I actually have, this will be actually my third Jeff Gordon 2009, well, uh, Je Jeff Gordon COT die car, shall I say. There's the other one from 2009, the special Pepsi Challenger livery. They both look very nice together. He has a habit of throwing together some very nice paint schemes, does Jeff Gordon. Kind of helps in as he's sponsored by DuPont, kind of paint company. There you go, those are my two 2009 Jeff Gordon die casts. Just out of interest, which one do you prefer? I can't quite decide myself. I, do, I think they're both really nice. The Firestorm one is very eye-catching, as you can see, very bright and vibrant. But the Pepsi Challenger has that kind of retro look about it, which I quite like. Uh, give me your thoughts. Which one do you prefer? Um, until then, I will see you next time. I have a bunch more die-casts arriving very soon. Some of them should have arrived by now. The postal service is rubbish. <laughs> but um, when I get those, I'll do a couple more of the kind of what's-in-the-box style reviews, where I just get a box and say, OK, I'm going to review whatever's inside it. You seem to enjoy that format last time, so I'll keep up with it. And comment and rate and tell me what you think of these reviews. Obviously, you know the normal drill. Until then, I will see you next time. Get it on.